Marcus, this whole place is full of cars that need to be gone. Parts have been ordered. You know that you sell classics. It doesn't take two minutes Bro, to get I parts. I got eight more cars need to be fixed. Hey, I got to go. Everyone's helping out. Everyone's doing the best that they can. We're all working yeah, together. Yeah, Ted, even I'm helping out. Thank God my dad taught me how to fix cars when I was younger. And by the way, I'm not going to charge you, OK? <laughs> Lucy? Everybody. Everyone's trying to help out. Wow. Wow. Everyone. I've got to get these out of here. I got to go to Carlisle, my friend. Talk to you later. All right? You want me? Call me. I will. I'm on my way to PA. Safe trip. See ya. Lucy, how are we looking? It's looking good. Working. Working now? Yeah. Yeah. Good. That would tell I did us the job. Training. How many advertising agents do you have working on your cars, Marcus? You're the first. Really? Yeah. And probably the last. Probably. Yeah? Mostly. Yeah. <laughs> Just out here having fun. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for over 40 years. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. You could call it work, but for my team, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, South Beach Classics. Woo! I'm here at Carlisle, Pennsylvania, freezing my butt off. I dressed in my Miami clothing thinking it was warm and it ain't warm it said 65 but they didn't say it was like sleeting but uh they're full everybody's here everybody's doing business i need to buy me some cars i love car corrals anybody can buy a car anybody can sell a car but at a car corral you can trade a car you can get out of one get into something else and get another chance to make money I'm gonna buy, sell, trade, exchange. This is my kind of place and my kind of day. Guys have been telling me about a yellow Dodge pickup. It's a B100 with a pilot house cab, which is a taller cab, five window, rare truck. And here I found it. Now, if the guy is not insane, I wanna buy it. I brought a 1949 Dodge pilot house cab B100 pickup truck. It was a complete restoration, done from frame up, rotisserie, sandblasted down to bare metal, and started from scratch. Hey, Dan, Ted Vernon, South Beach Classics. Hey, Ted, how are you? Everyone's talking about the B100. It's a beautiful truck, Ted. Yeah, I've been looking for it. It is gorgeous. Thank you. It's got a pilot house cab, which has the extended height and uh, corner window, so it's a five window, 1949. You don't see too many of these around. No, you don't. You see Fords and Chevys, you don't see a whole lot of these. No, you don't see a lot of Dodge. Ford and Chevy, very easy to get parts. And you got the original, six? Yep, it's been rebuilt. Transmission's been rebuilt. Uh, the whole uh, drivetrain, suspension, brakes. Everything in here is just amazing and clean. We have total nut and bolt restoration. I own a company called Rogo Fastener Company, and we distribute every nut and bolt that holds an automobile together. Uh, right now, I'm doing a Mustang, a 65. 65 Mustang. And I'm missing everything. All the things, all the bolts and nuts for the trunk and for this and for the door. Hold the fenders on, hold the door it. hinges, yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah. We actually have a complete kit that you could purchase from the mid-60s to the early 70s for Ford, GM, and Chrysler, just about every muscle car that's out there. And this complete kit will help you assemble that whole car, the whole body. I need one right now. Mike, uh, this is Ted. Hi, Ted. I'm Mike. Nice, Mike, to, meet nice you. to meet you. Mike has a 65 Mustang kit here right, right now yeah. that we're going to be uh, dropping off to a customer shortly. This here is for bumper guards. It's all pre-marked, pre-labeled. Every single thing you need. Everything's broken down. Every washer, nut, bolt, cotter pin that you would need to put that car back together. Ted. You have a customer for it. You're going to need another one. This is I mine. Will. It's yours. OK. I'll get him another one. OK. Can I Very buy your good. truck now? Very impressed by Dan. He knows his stuff. His product looks amazing. It's everything you need. I bought the kit for the Mustang, and now I would like to buy the Dodge truck. I wouldn't go no higher than 18000 There's nothing left. For the truck, I'm asking 35000 I think he's probably going to be looking to get it at a really, really low price, and I don't know if I'd be willing to go uh, much below the 30, if at all. It has to be a win-win situation for everybody. Dan, I really like your truck. 35000 It could be all yours. Listen, I do this for a living. I buy to sell. I have to buy it at my price wholesale and then try to retail it. For me to be able to make a buck, I'd love to be in it for 15 grand. Oh, 15. That I'm not buying hard. it to keep it. I'm going to turn it. I'd be willing to go to 30, and there's much more than that, as you know, in, in, into this. Into the vehicle. cost. That's sure. why I don't restore. I would hold on to it instead of selling it at that price. Then I have to just let it go at this. But I would like to get involved with you with the Rogo fasteners. This is an amazing kit. I've not seen anything like it. We would love to come down to Miami, set up a nice system for you, and make your shop a lot more productive. If you can do it, I'm in. OK, very good. Great. Appreciate it. Thank Great. you. Great. 
please don't forget. No, we won't. We'll, we'll get right on it. Taking my kit and I'm running. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Ted and I couldn't put a deal together on the truck, but he became a customer of Rogo Fastener Company today, and I know that's going to help him run his shop more efficiently and put more profits in his pocket. When you buy an old car, there's always something missing. And with this fastener kit that he's going to set up for me, I'm probably going to be able to handle every single little thing I, I need. You know, I didn't get to buy Dan's truck, but I still feel like I won because of the contact I made and how this is going to work out for me. So it's a win. Mr. Vernon. Hey, Tim hey, Demar, Tim Carlisle. How you doing, on, buddy? Good how to see you up good north. It looks yeah. like you didn't dress for the weather, brother. I yeah. am freezing. I am I might have a heart attack and die any minute. I'll find you something to warm up with. Hey, it's great <laughs> that you're here. We have three different segments of the event. One of them is the Carlisle Auctions, which is held over at the Expo Center, one of the fastest growing auctions in the, the country right now. The Car Corral, which is always at least 13 to 1,800 cars. The swap area, it's buying and selling of parts. You can sell reproduction parts, used parts, memorabilia. The vendor of the swap area is the backbone of Carlisle and has been since the beginning and helped us in our growth to this date. I saw Ted at the swap. I got really excited when I saw him out here meandering around looking for some parts or collectibles, whatever it may be. This is a city. Look 82 acres stuffed. And I haven't been to this part of the, in Pennsylvania. I haven't been here before. There's probably 6,200 spaces of uh, swap area. And all these guys are expert in their own little world of turning a dollar and making a buck. This flipping the stuff is great. It's fun. It is. Yeah. Fantastic. Every year I bring my kids down here. They're learning about the market and have the passion. They constantly work between the dealers, flipping product. Excuse, Excuse me, me, Dad, I need oh. money. Right there. What are you doing? I give him the 20 to 300 challenge every show. I give him 20 bucks, he goes out and makes as much money as he can. He buys something, flips it, and, yep. dun, 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 yep. and makes that money. That's exactly Sounds right. Sounds interesting, I can yep. do that. You think you can do it? Against an 11-year-old? Yeah. yeah. I think I can do it. You think you can beat him? <laughs> of course. Okay. So we're going to have a contest with me and Anthony, who comes back with the most money. You bet. You All bet. Right, I'm in. You in? Yep. Good luck. You're going to need it. I got an 11-year-old kid telling me, good luck, I'm going to need it. Are you kidding me? Ted might be more experienced at buying and selling cars, but when it comes to the swap meet challenge, I think Ted's going to have his hands full because the kid knows his stuff. Every event, my dad gives me $20. I go out and I look for something that catches my eye, and if it's cheap enough, I'll get it, clean it up, and then eventually flip it. How much are these? 20 apiece. Would you take 10 apiece? There's not really a secret. It's all just knowing what you're buying whenever you're buying it and knowing that you can make that type of profit on what you buy. When we finish and Ted comes back and sees how much money I've made, he's going to go, holy crap. Hey, Anthony, how you doing? Hey, Ted, how you doing? Doesn't look like you're doing too good. I got more than you. I got stopped. You got nothing. I got money in my pockets. You know, for an 11-year-old, you're pretty hard to like. So I started the day by buying two phones. I robbed them, and then I traded the phones for a stop sign, which is really much better. I'm rolling. I'm making money. Yeah, it's a little bit different than cars, but I think I'm good at it. I'm getting a hang, buying, selling, trading. I got to sell this because it's too heavy. Yeah, it's And you even thing. get a price tag with it because it's what I got. When I bought it, I'll sell it for 15 bucks. 15? Yeah. How about 12? You know, some of these people are not easy. For little items, they're killing me. I'll take 15 bucks for it and call sure, it Sure, I'll do that for 15. Good, thank you, it's yours. It's not such a big victory for me against an 11-year-old, but I think I'm gonna smoke the kid. So Ted. You know, I feel a little bad. He's only 11 years old, what do you expect? So how'd you do, buddy? Let me see what you have. $300. Nice stack of cash, huh? Yep. So Ted, what'd you make again? $224. $224. I guess the king of Carlisle's Anthony. Good challenge. You win. Good deal. Uh, you got my undying respect. You beat me. How about I take you all to lunch? Sounds wonderful. Sounds good. Sounds yeah. wonderful. Work up an appetite beating me? Yep. Let's Thank do you. this. Come Thank on, folks. Thank you very much. Good job, Anthony. Yep. So it was a fun day. They battled well. And they both hustled. It was a lot of work for both of them. Very proud of Anthony. I'm proud that he beat Ted. He didn't disappoint at all.
Hey, yeah. what's going on, bro? We're just talking about hey, you, man. man. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's everything? Right? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I got a couple guys here. Yeah, Larry from Mass Chapter 4. Larry, nice yeah. to meet you. Ralph, president. The man. He's the boss. We got to show you something. Show me something. Look at this. That's so cool. It's nice to have people like the embalmers that are looking out for you. They had stickers for me, shirts for me. I mean, they're ready. They're always coming up with something. As the Embalmers Car Club, we travel the country. We go to car events, car shows. We bring our family, our friends, and we hang out and have a really good time. Meeting Ted has made a big difference because he's like us. It's all about the cars. It always has been around the cars. The embalmers brought two special cars to Carlisle. We brought um, Polish Prince's car. It's a 1929 Ford he built himself. And we also brought a 1959 Apache pickup truck that our club did build in New York. And that's what it is, being in a car club, is working together and getting things done. And it's just real special to have a car club and a car family. It's a lot of fun. Fellas, I got to go. Really good seeing you all. Nice meeting you all. I'm out of here. Dinner tonight? That'd be great. Take care, Ted. Take care. Right. See you Take later. Care. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, Ted Vernon. Ted, Steve Montag. Steve, nice my first car. Is that right? But I won't burden you with a first car story. Yeah, these are great cars. They are, they're fun. Today I brought a 1960 Nash Metropolitan. Nash Metropolitan started a kind of a revolution for the small car market. Back in the 50s, the cars were big and pretentious and Nash had an idea to create a small economical car. It's an inexpensive car you can drive anywhere, go to any car show and it'll just be a magnet. Good solid trunk in it. Yep, the trunk is solid. The whole car is. It's a Texas car. I got a Texas title with it. Body's rock solid on it. Motor's um, good. Motor's real good. The original yep. British motor and all. Yep, Austin motor. Yep. Gotcha. It's got four brand new tires on it. The brakes are new. Everything works. Like, even the uh, cigarette lighter in the car works. I'm real interested in the car. Well, it can be yours for sure. It's here to sell. Let's talk money. I know Ted's a real buyer. I wanted to be somewhere in the mid $6,000 range. I really, probably $6,000 is about the, the lowest I'll, I'll go. I would consider a trade, because I'm into collector cars. I have, I have a few, and I, I would consider something else. I do also have another vehicle here to, to sell. The reason I want this car is it's solid, straight, it's nice, it's not restored. It's just a good, sound, original car. The gentleman's got the car priced at $7,900. You know, for me to make money, I gotta be in this car for three, four grand. Five would murder it. Steve, I wanna buy your car. So let's not make this a project. All you right. Know, how much can I pay you for your $4,000 car? I got $79.95 on it. I, I was kind of bent on 75, but I'll take seven grand for the car. That does not work for me. I have to ship this back to Florida. It's expensive to ship it. I mean, I, 4,500, I'm done. Ford, no, no, it's no way. You said one thing to me, Ted. You said this was your first car. Now, I don't know how old you are, but the average lifespan for a male is what, 72 years? And what do you got left? About that much of it? You're killing Spend me. Spend the money. Spend the money, enjoy the car. Are Relive you a funeral director or something like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Recapture wow. your youth with this car. Look at it. I want to buy the car. Okay. And we're yeah. a little bit apart. We are. We're, we're getting close, but... It... Uh, have you got anything else to lump with it? you bring anything else with you? Maybe there's some other deal I can do? You know what I do? Are you into motorcycles at all? Harleys and Indians are about all I buy. You want to check it out? It's a nice bike. Come take a look at this thing. I mean, it's a it's a nice two-owner bike. It's a numbered bike. I think it's 2540 out of 3500. It's anniversary edition. Got the laced wheels, the wide whites. It runs as good as it looks. I'll do 12 grand for the pair. You're not giving me room to make a living. I have to ship this. It costs the same as a car. I got to ship that. Let me tell you what I'll do. I'll give you 10 grand. I am done. I'm done. $10,000 cash, I'll shake your hand. I'm not even cranking the damn thing. 10 grand, we're done. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, you're not really uh, I, emotionally I, attached to that no, car like no, I thought no. you I'm, were. I'm right? emotionally attached to my 10 grand, but I'm going <laughs> to give it to you if you want it done. You know what, Ted? Let's do it. I, I, think... I mean, thank you, God. I got something done. And thanks for not raining this minute. All right, I hope you enjoy that car. It's a nice car. This is a great bike. There Thank you go. Thank you very much. Thank great you. Great deal, man. Thanks Done. a lot. You know, with the package deal, I'm very happy because I basically moved two vehicles to one person. The hauling and the, the advertising and the dealing is over. I got 5,000 for the car and 5,000 for the bike. I like to think of it more like I got 6,500 for the car and 3,500 for the bike. It's been raining the whole weekend. And I walked in the pavilion just by luck and I wound up doing the deal. I hadn't been able to do much until then. I walked in and boom, done. So that's, it's good, worked out. Marcus, 
What's up, brother? There's some box here from Rogo Fastener Company. What is this? Ted made this deal with Rogo. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Didn't know what it was. It was a box sitting there for a day. Pretty interesting. Hey, Marcus, got Jim here from Rogo Fastener Company. Hey, hey Jim, how you doing? Nice Good, how you doing? Yeah, yep. Ted told me you were stopping by. Yep, I'll take care of this. I'll set this all up. This is a whole fastener setup of nuts and bolts and shop supplies to Wonderful. make your shop run smooth. You don't have to touch a thing. I'm going to take care of this, take it all up, set it up over here, and I'll let you know when we're ready. That's my job. Thank you. Have a good one. All okay. right. At Rogo Fastener Company, we strive to help the shops be organized, efficient, keep everything at their fingertips, labeled, organized with uh, products that are 85% made in the United States, which is a big deal. Yep, so everything's neat, organized, labeled, at your fingertips. All right, man, I appreciate it, man. It's going to improve things here a lot more and move a lot faster, so it's going to be awesome. The whole setup is freaking amazing. You have screws that you have to look for for two and three days that are all in order. You don't have to order any more parts. They do everything for you. They got fuses, different battery terminals. I mean, it's amazing. Their drawers even rotate, so if you have like a little height deficiency, it doesn't make a difference. Just pick it up, put it in there. It's pretty cool. Pretty car, young man. Oh, thank you. Run as good as it looks? Yes, sir. Wow. Driven from Ohio to Pikes Peak. Did you do that? Not me, the previous owner did. Can I open this up? Sure, go ahead. Today, I'm trying to sell some cars. I brought this 1934 Chevrolet. I purchased from very good friends of mine. They are up there in age now, and it was just time for them to sell it. I've known the history of this car since 1969. Mike is a dealer, but he said he just got the car, but that it had been the same family for quite a while, and the guy took good care of it. That's obvious. I'm interested in this car. It really runs that well, huh? Runs real well. Anything bad you can tell me about it? Well, other than the fact it's an original Chevrolet motor and it leaks a little oil. That's factory, it ain't, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If it ain't leaking, it ain't got oil. <laughs> it's like a Harley. They, they leave a mark. They leave their mark. Can I see the motor in it? Sure. Dead stock original, isn't it? Dead stock. Original 206. When I first saw this 34 Chevy, I thought, what a beautiful, beautiful car. And I find out it's totally original, even down to the six volt battery. It's a real nice piece. I think in my store, that car could do 35 grand. I'm gonna buy this car. Ted seemed pretty interested in the car. I guess it's gonna be up to him and me to see if we can come together. I'm asking 25,000. I guess the lowest I would go today would be 22. I think it's a very fair price for what somebody's gonna be getting. It's a very reliable car. You can drive it anywhere or show it, whatever somebody wants to do. Mike, I'd like to buy your car. I'd like to sell you my car. I'd like to be south of 20, like 18 grand. Cash money done? I can't do that. I'm a dealer, you're a dealer. I got to make money, too. I understand that. I'm looking you know? back. I'm looking spare. You got the rear-mounted spare. Yes, I do. It's just a pretty car. There's nothing to pick about this the, car. You can't fault it. But it is what it is. It is. 34 it's Chevy. a 34 Chevrolet. If it was 34 Ford, it'd be double the money. Well. You know, you've been in business a long time. I'm learning. I'm learning every day. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> so sell this to me for 18 grand so I can be happy. Can't do that, Ted. I wish I could, but I can't. What's your best? I sell it to you today for 22. You can't fault it at that. I'm not faulting. Original tools are with it and home. everything. It's everything you said it is. I'm not arguing a point. I'll make you my last offer and I'm done. Twenty-one thousand dollars and it's my car. All right, I'm a car dealer. You're a dealer. You gotta make money. I gotta make money. I don't want to take it home. Done deal. Done. Thanks, Ted. You got it. Okay. Deal's done. Let's go settle up. I'm really happy. I think it'll do 36 and a half. It worked out, I think, good for both of us. He's happy. I'm happy. I don't have to worry about it. Take it back home. He's a dealer. I'm a dealer. We've done this a million times. It's his car now, and hopefully he makes a dollar on it. When you make a deal with a guy that's an educated guy, he's in the business, sort of knows who you are, you can feel him out in five minutes, know who he is. It's easy. You're not trying to kill him. He's not trying to kill me. It's fun, done deal. Go to the next deal. I love coming to Carlisle, either here or Florida. Love the auctions. I like the people. They're very professional. These cars are beautiful. Really better and better. They keep getting better cars. The 67 Chevelle went through was a big block, matching numbers car that was immaculate. And I bid $53,000, which was about three grand more than I wanted to bid. I got carried away because it was so nice. So I stopped. And then it brought more and it sold. You know, on any classic car such as the Chevelle, when you got a matching numbers car, everything is correct. It's worth much more than a car that's been butchered. So it was just such a correct, original, straight car. 
that it makes it better. For clean, clean cars, they bring a premium. I've been to a lot of Carlisle events, but this is the first time I've been to the home event, and it's amazing. It's huge, acres and acres and acres of cars and parts. I met a lot of really nice people, a lot of really good car people. I had a contest with an 11-year-old named Anthony about who could make the most money in one day, and I lost. Beat by an 11-year-old. I bought a 34 Chevy. I bought a Nash Metropolitan. I bought a Harley Davidson. I killed it. Just meeting all the people in Carlisle and being treated the way we were treated. This is really a nice family place. I just had a blast. It was great. Hey, guys. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah, I'm really hungry. Real quick, how'd you do today? I bought a few cars. I bought a few things. It's all good. I had a blast. It was a good trip? Good trip. OK. Yeah. Let's go to dinner. That's what I just said. I'm hungry. All right, we got the club truck here. You did well. I'm ready. But we got a problem. Got to wear the club hat. Got to wear the club hat. President's with us. That's not a problem. That's an honor. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to bomb her. Chapter 11, brother. Go ahead. I hang out the window. It was a little wet, but it was a great weekend. And now what better way to end it? I'm going to go to dinner with my buddies from the embalmers. Give it a good tug on that door, will you? I've done this a couple times. I'm good to go. <laughs> After a weekend of buying cars and trading cars, it's really good to sit down and have a few laughs and have dinner. It's going to be a good night. I'm hungry, man. Let's do this.